Hey, what is up, fellow critics? Darno here, back at it with another reaction for you guys. So today we're gonna be checking out Reacher season one, episode five. Uh, last episode, uh, we see that uh, they found Joe's, uh, you know, his hotel. They found this note. He laughed. So on this note that they found, uh, they had numbers to uh, economics professors, and then they had a number to environmental prote protection agencies, and. Uh, you know they're trying to figure out what you know what's going on obviously it's something to do with money so reacher thinks they're taking counterfeit money from south america and they're bringing it to kleiner and then shipping it out in uh, ac boxes also we see joe's partner calls them and wants to meet up to give them the rest of his uh you know his notes on the case so they want to go do that and uh, they seen her and she didn't go up the escalator so they obviously thought something was wrong and they found her and uh she was murdered and uh so now reacher's even more pissed like the woman that he'd be able to talk to and get to know joe a little bit more because he haven't seen him in a while now she's murdered as well so uh it's crazy i'm super pumped to watch this episode so before we start guys make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe to the channel and if you want to see this full length reaction check us out on patreon all right let's go ahead and start this episode up we couldn't stick around Margrave PD is dirty. Who's to say that Atlanta or Georgia State Police aren't on Kleiner's payroll too? That's true. You don't you don't know who's paid off by Kleiner. He has a lot of money, so who knows? You to stay off my property. Oh boy. Oh. Damn. Seriously. <laughs> Wait, is he really going to tie him like up? <laughs> he tied him up like a dog. Hey, are you okay? I never should have let her get involved. Yeah, your regrets. Getting her involved and she ended up getting killed. Like that's he feels that's definitely on him. So what kind of what kind of car are you working with? That'll do. Yeah, that's nice. Got plenty of trunk space. Wow. <laughs> oh boy. He about to beat somebody as. Are you just an insecure, spoiled rich boy hiding behind daddy's money? Oh, let's go. Look at his eyes. He is pissed. Uh oh. God, Ooh, damn. He slapped the hell out of him. Hey, I never liked you, Dawson. Don't make me prove. <laughs> Kidding me? No, no, no! I just got the report mixed up with something else. Motherfucker! Fuck you! Easy. What's going on? Teal just fired me. For what? He's not gonna have shoddy work muck it up, and then he shit canned me. Yeah. Damn. Oh, look at that. Language. <laughs> a hidden compartment. What is that? Is that a ring? Oh, a key. Oh, damn. It's a lot of paperwork. Why is 116 cattle? You buy a lot. 20, 50, 100. <laughs> Your point? I don't know. It's just. It's a, hell a lot of, lot of, lot of animal. animal feed. <laughs> Him and that animal feed. If Margrave citizens ever see anything off with Kleiner, suspect anything, if they're ever put on a jury or even questioned, Kleiner has already bought their loyalty with the Kleiner Fund. Oh. It's Margrave and his citizens. Damn. How much money are they paying? Bottom line, I don't care why they want to do it. You and the FBI can figure all that out after the people that killed Joe were dead. <laughs> they didn't commit suicide. They fucking murdered him. Yeah. Possibly. I apologize. No. Oh, damn. Look at my son. I'm sorry, the left side of his face doesn't look like the right. Damn. Damn, Reacher. That's cold blooded. Holy crap. He's smiling too, like, yeah, I, I burned them with that one. <laughs> I had that one waiting. Neely? I knew I'd track you down. You wish. Mm -hmm. I tracked you. Figured I'd come to Midtown, avoid tourists, find a serviceable hotel. Yeah. She's pretty smart. She, she knew he was going to do that, so she just did it for him. JW on your brother's punch list was an EPA investigator named Jimmy Dupree Wilkes. Was. The body was beaten like a pinata post mortem. Really? Not every day. Yeah, we do. You're gonna kill a whole lot of people, aren't you? Oh boy. Already started. 
<laughs> About to fill that trunk up. The guy I like for the murders was ordering 18 wheelers full of animal feed when he doesn't need nearly that much. Do you see a connection with what we're looking into? Not off the top of my head. Hell of a lot of animal feed, though. <laughs> see, that's what I was saying. See, we 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 here with this. Oh, huh. kind of look like a diamond, doesn't it? A diamond. Damn right it does. Who has a diamond ring? Somebody. Oh, the. That's what it was. Miss Carter, the diamond. You come to clean out your desk. Ah, okay. Oh, dude! Yo! Oh, uh, I thought it was a ring, but his cane. <laughs> Yo, Roscoe don't play, man. That old bastard killed Gray. By now, Tail's calling for your arrest. And once you're in custody, they'll take you out like they tried to kill Reacher when they had him locked up. Damn. Sorry, Roscoe. But I feel you, though. I feel you. My name? Well, uh, you know what his mama called him. But he goes by the Viking. The Viking? <laughs> Kleiners. I go to the source after hours, see if I can get evidence that nails this thing down. Really? I need you to promise me that you're not going to take out Teal without me. When the time comes, I'll hold him while you hit him. <laughs> nice. Can't wait for that. Bye, Richard. Bye, Roscoe. She'd be like, yeah, why? She'd be like, yeah, why are you talking to a guy named Roscoe like that? I like her. Oh, okay. She knows it's a girl. <laughs> People behind this have reach. Maybe even in the Memphis PD. We can't just walk right in. No. Oh, way. crap. What are you doing? They have reach. Oh. Yo, they're jacking him up. Hold on. Oh, no. Crap. Kick the windows out. Do me a favor and walk away. From the guys who killed your brother and tried to kill us? Right. It's not a request. And you're not my commanding officer anymore. Well, she better go get her a weapon. Because uh, now she knows the serious stuff going on here. Finley about to get caught. I'll tell you that. Like, if you're going to sneak, you can't use the... <laughs> you, can't, you can't use the flashlight if you're going sneaking. Oh! Oh boy! Guess you're not pulling all the strings, huh, Kleiner? Yep. Guess not. <laughs> Guess <it's> not. <laughs> nope. Definitely not. All right. So that was the episode. Pretty good. Very crazy. Some crazy things going on in this one. So first we see Richie. He wants to go see uh, Roscoe and sees that she's cleaning up her truck because it said horror on the side of it, and he knows who did it. So he wants to go see uh kleiner the kleiner boy and uh he pretty much threatened them and uh you know they're good seeing them talking junk to each other and then uh pretty much you know reach a punch him in the face and uh beat up his uh, i think that was his brother right beat up his brother and his friend so yeah they you know but you see that kleiner did not want to press charges because obviously that would be a whole big process with the court case and discovery and all that stuff so definitely don't want to do that so also they found out uh, Roscoe's partner, I believe, uh, Gray, um, that he was working on some things with Kleiner and uh, found out that, you know, he left uh, Roscoe, uh, you know, the gun and all that stuff. But it was a hidden compartment inside the gun and they showed a key. And that key led to the barber's barbershop and uh, it was a trunk filled with paperwork, you know, looking into Kleiner Industries. So... Uh, you know, they're going through it. You know, while going through all that paperwork, they see that, you know, there is a lot of money coming into Kleiner. So they know that Kleiner's got to be into this counterfeiting. So they're like, why do it in Margrave? And they come, they see that Margrave is like a good hub town and all these roads just lead out of there. And then also they realize that, um, you know, there's a lot of blockades going on right now. And whoever his contact person, whoever is on the other end, is probably pretty pissed because they're not really getting that stuff. So uh, it's definitely, you know, that's why they're trying to, uh, you know, go all out and take people out and things like that. We see that Roscoe was fired by Teal. 
uh, and that makes she's you know she's pretty pissed about that because uh, when she kind of when she was looking into the car, she said there was no license. Uh, she said it was a license plate of one of the people they're looking into and all this stuff. So he pretty much fired her because obviously they're she's snooping around and looking. So she's pretty pissed about that. Also, she looks into uh, Gray's death and realized that most likely. Uh, he did not commit suicide. He was actually murdered. And she looked into the, you know, the pictures of him and seeing that he had, you know, a, you know, diamond mark on his head. And at first I'm thinking like, oh, it's probably, you know, a ring. Someone had a ring and punch him. But no, the actual cane of uh, Teal's. So she realized that she ran up to him and punched him right in the face. And it was like, yeah, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> so now she's on the run because obviously he wants her uh, arrested. And you know what's going to happen if she gets arrested. They're going to try to take her out. So she's on the run as well. And uh, she ran off with uh, Finley. She's going to be staying in motels. But then she's actually just going to stay uh with the uh the hubbles so th with the hubble white uh with charlie and the kids she's gonna stay with them and look look after them you see reacher he hooks up with uh neely his old uh you know partner uh from back in the army and uh so they're looking into the epa because uh you know someone died there so one of the epa you know agents died and it comes to find out he was looking into kleiner until uh, a Kleiner in another area because they were polluting and he got killed because of that. So they're trying to figure out who was the person who killed him and it tied to a hitman named Viking, the Viking. So they linked up with cops to get that information and one of those cops was actually being threatened and paid off probably to kill the cop and Reacher Neely and uh, killed the cop right next, you know, sitting right in the car with him. And then you see Neely and Reacher fighting, uh, you know, pushing the cops, pushing that like divider, pushing into him until he f they went into a lake, which is really crazy. And uh, they got away and he ended up dying. Um, but he was definitely being threatened. So I guess to force him to do it. But it just tells you like their their reach is so far like you can't trust anyone. We see Finley and he's going to break into Kleiner uh and at night and see if he can get any kind of dirt any you know left in there any paperwork anything like that so he goes inside and he sees a freaking mr kleiner is freaking dead at his freaking desk you know throat slit so that tells you there's another person up there another high man so uh, it's gonna be crazy it's just another thing added to this so uh man great episode Guys, let me know what you thought of this episode. Did you like it or not? Let me know in the comments below. So thank you for watching, guys. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you want to see this full-length reaction, check us out on Patreon. All right, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.